Hey there, friend. So December has been really cloudy and gloomy where I live. It's giving very big. I just want to stay in the house and like watch movies and shows vibes. So let's put together this Christmas watch list. I'm breaking out these watercolors because I am determined to get a few more watercolor paintings in before the end of the year. <laughs> and I'm gonna paint these old TVs stacked on top of each other with some Christmas lights wrapped around them. I will be sure to put the inspiration photo for this picture down in the description box so you guys can go check out that artist. So this year, instead of just doing Christmas movies, I wanted to mix in some like holiday shows and stuff. I don't know. I, I, let me know down in the comment section if you feel the same way. I have to be in a mood to watch a movie, but I will watch a 10 episode episode series in one city. <laughs> Is that weird? Does that make sense? Anyway, so that's why I definitely wanted to mix in some like holiday shows in this list as well. So first up on this list, every single year, I have to watch The Grinch. This is one of my favorite holiday Christmas movies. I will even watch it when it's not Christmas. It's just so funny and very good. I also have Best in Snow on this list as well. I think it's like an hour, an hour and a half long show. And it's like a competition between, I believe, five teams. And they get to like make these sculptures out of ice or blocks of snow. It looks really interesting and cool. And I love of competition shows specifically when it's like art competition shows so this one is definitely on my list and i can't wait to watch it mm, friend so i'm watching this movie it's called noel and it's basically about noel she's chris kringle's daughter and her brother nick is supposed to be the new santa but he doesn't want to be santa so he runs away so she has to go get him and bring him back to the north pole before christmas the tea Next on the list is a movie called Single All The Way, and this one looks so cute. It's about Peter, who is desperate to avoid judgment from his family about being single, so then he persuades his best friend Nick to pose as his boyfriend when he goes home for the holidays. And obviously, I think it's gonna be one of those like friends to lovers movies. At least I'm hoping. They, they look like such a cute couple, but during the time that he's like, you know, visiting his family, he ends up going on a few blind dates with people, and I think he starts to realize that maybe Nick might be the best person for him and maybe it can be a lover's thing versus just a friend's thing. This one looks really cute. Next on the list is the Hip Hop Nutcracker. It's about 45 minutes, so it's the perfect watch time for like a just, a, you know, like a quick watch. And it's about this girl who's trying to like bring her parents back together, I think. It's like a reimagining of the Nutcracker if it was set in New York City. The music and the dancing alone look amazing in this, so I am excited to watch this one. Next up on the list is another competition show. It's called The Great Christmas Light Fight. I love a good competition show. I believe this one was like 10 seasons. I'm gonna try to watch maybe one of these seasons and I believe it's like four families that come together on an episode and they like decorate their houses for Christmas and I guess the judges judge like which house is the best but apparently these light decorations are like extreme and elaborate and it's a whole different <laughs> kind of decorating so it should be interesting to watch. And the last thing on my Christmas watch list this year is called Holiday Home Makeover with Mr. Christmas, which features Benjamin Bradley, who is known as Mr. Christmas. And he goes to different people's houses and gives them like a makeover for the holiday. I'm assuming like he basically just goes and decorates their house for Christmas. I'm assuming it's not like, you know, he redoes their kitchens and bathrooms or whatever. I'm assuming it's just Christmas decorations, but I don't know. I did notice that from the preview. <laughs> some of these stories are kind of like similar to some of the stories in like you know like Queer Eye or something like that and I'm not necessarily looking to cry <laughs> so we'll see how many episodes I can get through of this but if it's as good as Queer Eye I'll probably finish this in a day anyway <laughs> I am so happy with how this turned out like <laughs> I'm really really starting to get the hang of watercolors and I'm really starting to enjoy doing watercolors I mean this just turned out way better than I thought it was going to like way better <laughs> Let me know your favorite holiday movie down in the comments. In addition to watching all of these shows and movies that I mentioned today, I am also trying to read some like Christmas, holiday, winter books. So I will link right here on the screen my winter slash Christmas December TBR list. Go check that one out and I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.